that we should have more time for consultation. And Chief Justice Martha Kome is complaining of what she terms as interference by the independent institutions in the mandate of the Judicial Service Commission. The CJ pointed an accusing finger at the Salaries and Remuneration Commission and the Office of the Controller of Budget for allegedly erecting hurdles in the usage and access to the Judiciary Fund making it difficult for the judiciary to implement its plans. The CJ was speaking at the judge's annual colloquium in Mombasa. As the custodians of the social transformation promise of the Constitution, the Constitution envisages that we are to be the enablers for the realization of its aspirations. We are to utilize the law to effect positive social change. We can and we must be enablers of the values and principles of governance that are embodied in the Constitution. There was a year when judiciary got zero budget allocation for uh, the delays that we have seen. And on our part, we acknowledge there was inadequate planning and management of multi-year projects and some of the constructions remain incomplete to date, but with clear and deliberate plans for their completion. Commit that the National Assembly will continue to support the judiciary within the parameters of the Constitution. We cannot at any one moment try to say that the National Assembly, the Senate, or Parliament in general has any right whatsoever to try and hold the judiciary to ransom on any matter. It is purely it is purely interdependence within the confines of the Constitution that what National Assembly is supposed to do under the Constitution for the judiciary, it must do it within the Constitution. And governors who employ staff beyond the prescribed limit will now be held personally liable. 